Stampers, it's Jackie Ball Heist from Clomp and Stampers. Today, we're gonna look at a brand new suite of products that's in the January to June mini catalog that just came out. And I have a brand new online stamping class to share with you. Now, I've got a lot to show you and a lot to tell you today, so I hope you hang in all the way to the end. But before we get going, just a quick reminder, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching me. And don't forget to subscribe. I bring lots of quick and easy card making videos to you each and every week. And also, if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. I'd love to send you a catalog and help you in any way that I can. You can hop over to my website. The link is right down there in the video description. And over there, you'll find all the information about today's cards, about the online class, how to get a catalog, and much more. So. What I've got to share with you today, first off, is a fun fold card, an easy fun fold. Everybody loves fun fold. Now we're using these new fine art floral, I think, yep, fine art floral. I always have to double check on the names of new products. We're using that suite for this fun fold. I'll share some tips for stamping with the stamps that come with it. I'm going to share the new mini embossing machine with you. And I'm going to share with you how you can get my online class tutorial to be able to make 12 cards with this suite of products. Now that's an awful lot to do today, so I think we better get going. We're going to go ahead, flip this camera down, let's look at the products, and let's make that fun fold and talk about all the good stuff I have to share with you today. Hang on one second. So before we dive into the fun fold, I just want to share the products we're using because they're brand new. This is the cover of the mini catalog that just came out. So if you don't have this one and if you don't have a demonstrator that you work with, I'd love to send one of these catalogs to you. You can request it over on my website. Now, we are using this fine art floral suite. Not all the products, but most of them. Um, if I flip the page over here, you'll see here's the stamp set that comes with coordinating dies. There's also gorgeous designer series paper. And really, there's some, a few other products, the ribbon, the gold leafing, um, oh, what do we call this? The specialty acetate and the embossing folder that we're not really using in the cards for this online class or the fun fold today. But if you like all the products, you can purchase the whole bundle as a suite. Now, let's just set that aside because we're not really here to do that. We're here to make a card. So let's look at the stamp set. It's a beautiful flower image and there's some great words with it. And then the dies are beautiful. Now, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do some stamping and die cutting first. Then we'll do our fun fold card. So just a scrap of Whisper White. We're gonna bring in bum oops, Bumblebee for our ink on this one. And this flower is a two-step. So we have our more solid one, and then we can stamp right on top of it to get more detail. Now, some people do like to kind of mix and match different colors. I tend to use one ink pad. So what I'm gonna do, the more bold image, we're gonna stamp on our scrap paper first, and then we'll stamp onto our piece of Whisper White. Now, for image number two, we're going to come right off of that ink pad, can line this up pretty good, and come right on top of it. So you can see the two different shades you get off of one ink pad. So we need that piece for our flower, and then we're gonna go ahead and our leaf, this isn't a two-step, this one just has the one image, but look at all the detail in that. So we have those two pieces, then we're gonna grab our dies to cut these out. And look what I have to share with you. This is the brand new, just came out as well, the mini stamp and cut machine, stamp or cut and emboss machine. I'm sorry, I can't get all these names right. It works just like the big one. Okay, there's plates that are numbered. So you can see here there's number one and these are number two. And it will tell you right here for die cutting that we want to use this one and then two number twos. Now I like to always cut, have my bottom one the same and I'll keep this one on the top 
and then eventually this one will get really bad so I'll move that to the bottom and replace the top one but I found my plates and this is for the big machine or the mini I like to try to keep flipping them I'll cut on that side then that side then that side then that side even flip them this way and try to move around that's how you'll get the most out of these without them curling or getting in too bad a shape um, quickly you know they are meant to be used um, you know they'll be used quite a bit and then eventually you do have to replace them so let's go ahead and just we'll cut one at a time first here so we're going to just line this one up here it's kind of hard without having my head directly over it we'll put our plate on top of it and then we can go ahead and run this through the machine i gotta flip it a little bit here to do my right hand sorry if my table's shaking a little bit but you know with this mini machine it is so nice to just keep on your stamping area it takes up way less space or if you're one that likes to travel and do things um the mini is awesome. Now, most dies will fit in the mini. The regular size embossing folders will not, um, but they do have a few embossing folders now that are the small ones, and I'm sure we're gonna end up getting a lot more of those. But for now, most of the dies, and it's nice because it's just smaller, so you, oops, let's get that started here. You, um, you don't take up so much space and you don't have to wind it through as far either because it's a lot, um, smaller. So that is available for purchase now for those of you that have been anxiously waiting and we've known it's been coming for a, a long time. So there are our two flower pieces and I did cheat a little bit and I do have, whoops, fold in half there, my greeting. This is another die that's part of this set. So I've stamped and cut that out already. So we're all set to make our fun fold card. Now, this fun fold is actually one of the cards that is featured in the tutorial. Um, my online classes, I do a new one just about every month, and usually they feature 12 different cards. So those 12 cards are going to use all pretty much the same products, so you don't need to buy a ton of stuff. Um, I like to just show you how you can really get versatility out of a few products. Now we're going to start with our card base, eight and a half by five and a half normal. We're scoring it at four and a quarter, but then we're also going to score this over here at two and an eighth. So that is all the scoring. Now our fun fold really is just the card folded in half. And this, I like to use my bone folder to get a real crisp image or crease in there. And then we're going to fold this piece back like so. So this is the base of that fun fold. Now, I told you the designer series paper was gorgeous that coordinates with this. And um, we're just using a couple pieces here, but when I show you the other 12 cards I have to share with you at the end, you'll see a lot more of the, the paper. So we have a piece right here that is cut at one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. Oops, our glue, I haven't used it in a while here. Let's go ahead and get that going. There we go and we'll put a piece of that and it coordinates so nice with that that bumblebee now for this layer i have a, again a piece of our designer series paper and then i also have a piece of the acetate now this can go on either side if we go this way we get silver if we go this way we get gold it just really adds that fun um kind of elegant look, I guess, to your cards. Now, the trick here is you do have to be a little careful because you don't want adhesive to show through that. So I'll show you my little tip here. What we're gonna do is first put this designer series paper onto our layer. Now, I will have this card recipe, which really means just all the measurements and everything over on my website. So you'll be able to go catch those over there if you would like. And now, Let's go ahead and use some dimensionals. Now, like I said, this card is part of my 12 card online class tutorial. So you will get all the written instructions for that one. Now you can pick up that tutorial for free if you place an order, oh, can't get that off. If you place an order with me using my special online class host code by January 10th. Now we have a little shorter time than normal because these products weren't released until today. Um, so you've got five days. So a $50 order gets you the tutorial for free over on the website. I will have, boy, those are some 
sticky dimensionals. If you have a hard time getting those backings off, you can use the piercing end of your, um, take your pick tool, that really helps. But okay, I'm getting sidetracked here on my talking. Um, so the class tutorial, 12 card tutorial, step-by-step -step instructions. You get it free with a $50 order using the online class host code, which you can find over on the website. And then um, you can also purchase the tutorial and all that information is over there as well. And I'm going to show you all 12 cards that are in that tutorial as soon as we finish making this one. So, um, goodness, you know, my hands are so cold. My um, stamp room is actually in my basement and I live in Michigan and it's freezing. We're in the middle of winter here and it gets so cold down here. So there, we just stuck our thank you on there. And you know what? I totally, totally forgot to put this underneath there. See, now you're seeing what it's really like to, to stamp with me. I knew what I was doing and then I got talking. Let's just see if we can pull this off. Actually, it's kind of pretty like that, but I want to show you how you can use this acetate. Okay, there we go. So rewind a bit. We're going to just lay this on here. I am not going to stick it down yet, but I'm going to hold it right where I want it. And then we're going to stick this with our dimensionals. Let's put the stem down there. Good thing that came up for me okay. And we're going to put our thank you right there. So now I can lift this piece up and I can go ahead and since I can see through that, I can put some of my adhesive right underneath where that image is and it won't show through at all and it will hold it down. The acetate is thick enough that even though there's not adhesive like in the corners or the edges, it's going to show just fine or it's going to stick just fine. It's not going to like flop off or anything. And then we can go ahead and when I stick this onto the card, I want to make sure I put adhesive just on the left side there because we are going to go ahead and put it on that little panel like so. And then I need to grab my piece of white for in this inside. Hold on one second. Okay, now don't go away yet. Make sure you hang on with me to the very end of this video because I have 12 cards I want to share you share with you. Um, all using these products and they are gorgeous. So I like to just put a piece of Whisper White on the inside. Now I could stamp if I wanted to stamp on the inside, but I'm gonna leave this one blank so that I can just write a greeting. So there is our easy fun fold. Again, all the details on this card will be on the website. Now let's take a look at the cards that are in the tutorial. You know, when I got new product out of this new mini catalog, this was the first suite that I was so excited to play with because I just loved the look and the coordinating products. So here's the card I just made using different designer series paper and a little bit different colors. So that one is part of the tutorial. Now, as we go through these, you can start to see all the different designer series paper. Look at how pretty that is. And I did stamp the inside of most of these. Um, this one is another fun fold. You can see it's going to open like so and like so. Now, you'll notice the nice words that are fun in these um, in the die set. But I also used a few stamps from the Happy Thoughts stamp set. Now, you guys are probably going to get super sick of me talking about the stamp set because it is so near and dear to my heart. It is the stamp set. I got to design and it's in the new catalog, but I designed this for all stampers. It is just a basic greeting set that has your four basic greetings along with great verses for the inside. So I'm going to be using this probably on a lot of cards coming up. And I did use it on a couple of these because I thought that these inside verses worked perfectly with some of the greetings that were part of the stamp set. So here again, it's just different layouts using a lot of that designer series paper. Now this one, here's that happy birthday from Happy Thoughts. Now here, you can you see the shine? This is a piece of acetate as well. And it's super cool because a few of the sheets of this acetate were actually made to go right on top of the designer series paper and kind of match up enough, you know, kind of give you that artsy look. But look at how gorgeous that is. And there's those happy thoughts words again for the inside. 
Simple one, just showing off that designer series paper. Again, I used a lot of that designer series paper. Here's a couple other of the images. And again, thinking of you, I guess I did use that Happy Thoughts stamp set quite a bit, but it just works so good. Here again, you can see how those papers match up. Now, with the online class, you'll also get a special video that I will um, go through tips for all of these cards and I'll show you how to make sure everything lines up, how to make the couple of fun folds. I think there's four different fun folds. This one is kind of one of my favorites. Look at that, how pretty, but look at that paper. And let's see, we got two more here. So wow, that's 12 different cards that are part of that tutorial. Oh, and this one, I did use the embossing folder. Can you see the super deep texture on that? It's beautiful. So there it is, 12 different cards that are part of this month's online class. Now again, you can get that tutorial for free with the $50 order over on my online store using my special class hostess code. You'll find that over on the website along with details about it. Um, there's a link right down there in the description of the video that'll take you to the website with all that information. And then I also, on that blog post, I will feature this card, uh, pictures of this card along with the card recipe, the cutting and scoring dimensions. So if you'd like to make that one, you certainly can. So the tutorial will also be for sale over there. If you already have these products, if you're a demonstrator or you live in another country and don't want to don't want to or can't make a purchase with me, um, you can purchase the tutorial as well for the 12 cards. So one of my favorite tutorials that I've done in a long time. So I hope you like it as well. So as always, if you have any questions or anything I can help you with, hop on over to that website. You can contact me there. Otherwise, leave me a comment on the video here. I'm here to help you with all your stamping and card making needs. So welcome to the brand new January through June mini catalog. And once again, if you need one, reach out and let me know because I'd love to send you one. So until I stamp with you again, have a stamp happy day.